Hey everybody, it's RCK, and I'm glad to have you back here again for our next episode of our Solanesh series, series that we have going on here, of course. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We have three battles here. I don't quite remember from the last episode, so it looks like we are fighting that barbarian province that was, yep, right at that island that we're looking at taking over. Uh, lots of marauders, and then uh, two... Those are forsaken marauders. And then we have two uh, warriors that have promoted themselves. We have a chieftain in the back. Hopefully we can kill these uh, barbarian, barbarians pretty fast. I mean, they have pretty low protection, and our uh, mar marauders actually deal a fair bit uh, for their swing. So uh, they're pretty strong as well. Ooh, losing on that side. Oh, both sides are routing. It looks like we were not able to get that commander that is right there. Uh, very unfortunate and that will cause us to leave here the other half so it does look like we did end up getting one but the other one failed unfortunate <clears throat> i think this was the troll province and those guys are all ready to be promoted as well yep a bunch of trolls hopefully we do hit hard enough here to take them out and uh, negate their region that they have of course they have that 10 percent region I only get about two to three hit points a turn, being at 26 uh, HP. Let's see. Yeah, three, three a turn. But yeah, we just hit so hard. I can tell that one's going to be very easy. So we did end up losing four Chaos Warriors if we killed all the trolls. Let's watch this final battle here for this turn. Uh, more Chaos Warriors versus, oh, this is a Knight Province with uh, Cav Archers, or Archer Cav. Ooh, this might be a, there's a lot of them. Looks like that uh, 22 Prod is really working well against them, though. A lot of the others are getting there to the back. Those four, oh, Marauder's going in. Let's hope he doesn't die. Oh, that was a little risky there. He could have been taken out. Okay. So we are safe on that end. We had a few events here. So we had a... Uh, Skycar the Prince has joined. Got some a gold event. A Sinister Cult is in one of our provinces. And we promoted three more guys. Let's check out those promotions there. Uh, two uh, Chaos of the Chosen... It looks like a lot of them got turned into Forsaken Warriors. And a we got one lesser spawn from that as well. Pincer, Tentacle, Small Tentacles. A lot more to be promoted here. Cool. Uh, as far as our orders go, this is all cut off to us now. Very unfortunate. You see a fort there at 80. Interesting. We're still going to leave that uh, War Elephant province there. I don't want to risk uh, our troops at the moment. We, uh, we'll find a better way of killing them. Uh, moving everything over here, kind of getting... We see that the, the Chaos Dwarves did take 78, so that's interesting. Too bad we were not able to get a hold of that one. So we're moving to try to hit 55 as soon as possible. Uh, try to secure the rest of this land that we have here, moving everything over. And this was a uh, pretty nice commander here. 120 leadership, 50 hit points, 25 protection. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet uh, commander hero that we got there from that event. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, recruiting more marauders there. Looks like we're recruiting in all these provinces. Building a palisade there at 76. Still preaching in our capital, building Palisade at 56. Also need to look at taking 51 and 48 here. These independents and alike are fairly weak, so they shouldn't be too hard to take if we find a mercenary group or something along those lines that we can get underwater with. Also building Palisade at 69. Is there another Palisade going up? 
You see, we see Death 3 sites there in 95, more than likely a well of pestilence. We're building a fort at 103. So we're trying, I know we're a little bit behind being turned 13 and we don't have any forts up yet, but we are getting them up quickly. We have a lot of money to throw at it. It looks like we got a lab already in 56, so that is very nice. I need to go ahead and start moving some of these mages out and start site searching for what I can get. Our gem income is not looking too bad. Had a lot of events here and there. Uh, that luck three is really helping us out with that. And that's going to be all for turn 13. Let's go and look at turn 14. Alright, no battles this turn, of course, from a what we just looked at we're just moving things around two events here so we got another lab and we have three fire mages which is actually pretty nice since we don't have a uh, natural way of getting fire unrest event took out some uh, brigands let's go and check that event there so we got a lab a very decent province here at 66 yes it's going to pull resources off of the cap but it will be okay so we're going to go ahead and build a uh, palisade here and we have a fire three that we're going to start searching with that is very very nice of course uh giving us those uh, randoms or not randoms but fire mages just because we don't have any get everything site search get that fire income going that's gonna be very very nice for sure uh, patrolling there at 79 must have been some pretty high unrest we need to patrol at 69, having that 34 really increase that income up. We'll probably hit 2k here very shortly. Uh, it's nice, actually, if you haven't noticed the terrain, but these roads really help us move a lot faster through here. Um, so I'll try to do try to keep in mind, especially for these made maps like this. Now, map new case isn't going to have any roads in it, but some of these pre-made maps, they do have pretty, uh, pretty decent roads where you can kind of move places faster. Um, so this unit here is going to be able to walk all the way through and get all the way over there, which is very nice to meet up at 55. Uh, we have another group of Marauders along with Chaos Warriors this time, so we should be able to take them out pretty easily. Uh, these units of 65 is going to be able to move all the way to 67, so that's very nice. Uh, we also see Death 3 there in 43, so that's interesting. Probably another well or something along those lines there. And we can uh, end the turn. We do see a fort come up at 90 from the Chaos Dwarves. Not sure why we see so much troopage, so many troops here. These Bull Centaurs, Archers, kind of risky. I'm sure we asked them about it. We do see a temple up. Possibly they're going after building a temple or a fort there as well. But building it in a swamp, unless they have some kind of special mage, which the indie type did not indicate that, unless they wanted the the jaguar um priest forget his name unless they want that i guess but i figured they'd be better off with other things but to each their own i don't know maybe they might attack us we see hobgoblin archers and the bull centaurs no one's taken 85 throne yet which looks pretty weak militia archers heavy infantry Vampire Count's doing their thing over here. Don't looks like they, it doesn't look like they've grown very much though. Uh, since Nolan, I assume, has this area here, and the Tomb Kings has this area up here. Looks like they've really been uh, blocked in for sure. So that is all for. Did I throw in a shield guy? I don't know why I did that. Um. Just making more cultists and uh, going with it. I don't remember if I mentioned we we're building a fort here at 103. I possibly could have last turn. Alrighty, that's set that for turn 14. Let's go and check out turn 15.
So we do have that barbarian uh, prop fight going on there. And we do see that our fire mage found two sites for us. So we have a rune of fire, not that big of a deal, but it boost fire ritual range for two provinces. And then we have the high tempo of the magi here. So we have a magus and a high magus. The magus is a fire one, earth one, astral one. And then the high magus is a fire two, earth one, astral two. This is very awesome. Also gives us two fire, two astral every turn. This is so sweet to have right here. As far as our other mages go, just doing that thing again where it freezes up. It only really does it with the mages over here. It looks like when I go over one or two of these. Uh, so our normal mage here is a air 2, astral 2, blood 1. And of course you can have sabbaths and astral communions go together. Uh, so now we're going to have earth and fire into our communions. Of course earth is also a great another path for us to have because we didn't have that otherwise. Um, our shamans are only nature, water, astral, and death. So no what, no earth, no uh, fire, and we've already fixed that from right here in this province 66. So that's awesome. Really looking forward to things. It's going to really greatly increase our capabilities of magic that we have. We see Nolan has already taken 58. We see a pretty big throne here at 46. I can only assume that this is the throne of elements right here. Uh, being as big as it is. Uh, evocation bonus of 30 is not bad. Nice gem income. It doesn't have any negative effects. Spreads the minion of 3. So we need to look at taking that eventually. We see someone's already taken the silver throne. Very nice. Very nice. So... So we know that all these three provinces here are going to be ours along with 55. And we'll have to try to take 46 before Nolan takes it. But from the looks of it, Nolan has spread out pretty far. So they are a pretty uh, uh, powerful player here at this point. I, can't, I don't know how far south they've gone. I think Mindenheim is over here somewhere. The orcs are over here somewhere. Chaos Dwarves, Pamps, we have Tomb Kings, which I think the Vampires have attacked the Tomb Kings. Because I think that was Tomb King area before, possibly, but I could be wrong. We're sending a scout over there to check it out. Who else is in the game? Uh, dwarves, where are the Dwarves? Dwarves are somewhere over here. I did not see their cap yet, but I am almost positive it's over here in this area. So we're probably uh, space number one or two as far as the most uh, most conquered provinces at this point. So we're looking pretty good. We had a pretty decent expansion. Haven't lost a whole lot. I felt like if anyone attacked us, our Chaos Warriors will be uh, able to repel them. Uh, so yeah, looking good. Still a couple provinces here and there. That is a huge province. Uh, lots of uh, things you don't want to fight in there. Imps, griffin riders, those are going to be a pain. Okay, so we will... That will be all for this turn. Not a, not a whole lot going on since we're not fighting anyone. We are starting to get our site searches done. Gain a few provinces here and there. No forts have came up yet, but we should be expecting them next turn. Income is steadily going up, of course. Gym income just because we just found that site. Uh, looking to try to uh, hold up for a couple of turns before we get in any fights and do some good researching. Uh, being a pretty heavy communion blood nation, I do want to get our research up off the ground uh, and be able to just kind of uh, win whoever wants to come in or beat whoever comes and fight us because we have great troops. Um, we have a decent mage core. Um, in the late game, I feel like once we get our research done, uh, on top of, I mean, we have uh, pretty high fire. We can get earth up pretty decently. We have high air in our communions. It's going to be very, very nice for sure. Uh, we have to work on our summons. I think this was the province. Yeah, this is the province that had that uh, cult or something. I think we're trying to get that out. I'm not sure if you got a preach 
in the province or you just have to patrol or whatnot but we will work on that so we have a lot of unrest here in uh, 69 we definitely need to go and uh, take care of that and possibly looks like we are working on that right now we're moving troops over to patrol uh, there this uh, turn right now so we'll try and take care of that as well so that is turn 15 hope you guys enjoyed and I'll try to get another one out either this week or next weekend and uh, have a good one everyone bye